Hi, uh, it's John Mansell, ex Boozhound. Hope you're well. Uh, this vlog is called um, Children Are Resilience. Um, I've just had to uh, restart the vlog because I've uh, just swore by mistake. I'm trying not to swear in this one just in case children get to watch it. Uh, I want to talk about children. I'm, I'm talking about children and young adults, really. Um, I know children are resilient because I googled it yesterday and I put children are and the letter R in and it came up with children are resilient so uh, I know it to be true um, as I say I don't know what it's like to be a parent I don't have children um, but I do understand mental health and and, and other issues um, just got to point out my hair is a bit of a bit of a mess um, I've just come from the gym. My brother's just kindly told me I look like I've got a perm, uh, but it is what it is. Okay, so there's been a lot of stuff on the news uh, lately, and I saw another piece yesterday about how worried parents are about their 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 children's mental health. Now, I'm not going to say you know children and young adults are not going to be affected by the the, the recent period. Uh, they are, without a shadow of a doubt, like every single one of us is. Um, but I do think, um, rightly or wrongly, uh, the way the news is portraying it and things like that, I, I believe that they are blowing it out of proportion and, and causing more worry. And the reason I say that is going back to the the, uh, the title of the vlog, Children of Resilience. You know, yes, they've had a difficult time. Yes, they may be experiencing anxiety and stress and maybe a little bit of depression, you know, with the, the isolation and the, the difficulties that kids have been through with regard to their exams and starting college and not being in school and all those sort of things. Without a shadow of a doubt, this is going to affect uh, children's mental well-being. But again, I think it's, it's important to determine or distinguish between mental well-being and mental illness. You know, it's important that if children are experiencing anxiety and stress and depression, that they have people around them that are willing to talk to them about it. Um, you know, unfortunately, there are going to be children out there who have idiots around them who don't believe in mental illness and anxiety, stress and depression. Um, if you are one of those children or young adults, find somebody else to talk to about what you're feeling and, and, and do it now, you know. Don't suffer in silence because, again, again we're talking about mental well-being. If you've got a mental illness, if you if you if you if you are you know prone to a mental illness, that's going to happen anyway. Uh, the pressure of of COVID and all the all the things that have been going on, it may well be at this point you have got mild um, anxiety, stress, and depression. That doesn't mean you are mentally ill, as far as I'm concerned. It means you need to talk about how you're feeling. If you can't talk to your parents, talk to your friends, talk to your teachers, uh, talk to school nurses, uh, talk to uncles or aunts, uh, other people, and get what you're feeling off your chest. Because keeping it in is only gonna make things worse. And the longer you keep in these feelings, the harder it's going to get. And a lot, I know a lot of children will be going on the internet and they will be putting in, you know, symptoms and, 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 and uh, searching the interweb for things about mental illness and things like that. Just be careful about that because when you look at these things, you can start to convince yourself that you've got a serious mental illness. And that just, more likely than not, is not the case. You are struggling. Um, 
But if you keep on struggling uh, over a period of time, things are only going to get worse. Um, parents, uh, friends, family, if you feel that your children, nephew or friend is struggling uh, with anxiety, stress or depression, talk to them about it, you know, talk openly about it. Don't discount it, don't just think, oh, well, he's a teenager, he's a, he or she, they're teenagers, they'll, they'll grow out of it. You know, as I said, as we said with the, the, call, the name of this vlog, children are resilient. Yes, there are going to be people, children and young adults, struggling at the moment. But that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to go on and, and, and you know, be labelled and, and, and diagnosed as mentally ill. They've just got to look after their mental well-being now. Um, again, I mentioned earlier on uh, that I'm not a parent, so uh, some people might be saying, well, what the hell do you know? And that's fair enough, uh, but I have spoken to... Uh, a few, quite a few parents and, and young adults over the years uh, and being able to help them uh, understand their anxiety, their stress and depression and understand how they can start to build back up um, and get back to, well I hate to use the word, but get back to normal or normality. Um, don't give in now. It might be difficult, it might be tough times, it will be tough times, it's tough times for everybody. But if you are a parent, take it seriously and talk, talk to, talk to them. Uh, and if you feel you need, you, you need to take it further, then do so. You know, uh, go to CAMS, um, Children and Adolescent Mental Health Services, um, go and speak to the GPs, you know. I, I, but let's get it into context early on, so we don't get it, so it doesn't get out of control, and it doesn't become a major issue. Again, I'm not a parent, but what I have learnt over the last few years, uh, I've been into uh, a number of schools and spoken to again, let's say young adults, and to be in. To be perfectly honest, children and young adults understand mental health issues a lot better than many adults do. There's less stigma around, they've grown up with it, uh, I think they're more willing to talk about it and I hope that's true. But having been into a number of schools, I know I've been blown away sometimes with regard to how uh, well uh, young adults, children and young adults, understand mental health issues uh, and they tend not to uh, look at people um, and judge them um, because they understand it a lot better than, than most adults do. Um, if you are a teacher or a, a school nurse or, or whatever, um, I am, uh, well, when Covid allows it, I am planning to look into getting back into and talking to uh, children and young adults about mental health and, uh, and addiction um, uh, and those sort of things. Uh, if you feel that um, what your school could benefit from that, drop us a message, you know, on Facebook, Twitter, or whatever, um, and we'll see what we can do. But really, really importantly, I'm coming up to ten minutes now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end it I'm gonna end it here. Yes, without a shadow of doubt, children's mental well-being will be will have been knocked about uh, over this period. But let's not get it out of proportion. The majority of people, the majority of children and young adults, if they ha if they are so struggling with their mental well-being, it will be. I mean, I've got no scientific basis to base this on, but I can, I'd pretty much, well, I'd put, I'd put my house on it if I had one. Um, it will be, in the main, mild anxiety, stress and depression. If we look at that and we talk to them quickly and early enough, they'll be able to move on. Again, going right back to the start, children are resilient. 
and I think they will cope with all the changes and all the things that they've been through probably better than, than adults will. Um, I'm going to shut up now, it's just gone past 10 minutes. I hope if you know somebody with, with, with uh, children who may be struggling at the moment, I hope you'll consider sharing this vlog with them. Uh, I'm going to talk directly to the children and young adults now. If you are struggling with uh, things that you don't understand, anxiety, stress, depression, whatever, you're struggling to get out of the house and things like that, make sure you start talking to people. Your parents, your teachers, your friends. You will find that people won't look down on you, people won't think less of you. They will, they will see, they will think more of you because you had the strength to openly talk about something that's difficult. And if you do that, chances are, because you are resilient, that within a matter of weeks or months, things will start to look better. Um, okay, I hope that's helped some people. Please share, please uh, subscribe to the blog, uh, please comment and like if you can. Um, everything will be okay as long as we approach uh, the current situation in the right way, openly and honestly and realistically. I hope that helps. Uh, I'll maybe catch you all soon. Uh, enjoy the good and ride out the bad. See you later. Bye-bye.